Pulse is getting weak. I'm losing him. I'm losing him. I'm losing him. I'm almost there. He's gone. Captain Patty. One more for Buttersfield. Close him up. Slowpoke? It's me who should be lagging. There, I see it. Come on. You better hurry. Down here. Down here, Mr. There, go. can you see it? No. Where is it? Oh, Over there, in the trunk of the maple tree. Well? Oh, yes, there it is. I've got it. What is it? Everyone knows that. It's a pteranodon. A pileated woodpecker. And the Latin? Dryocopus pileatus. Can we go home for luncheon now? I search high and low to find a new bird for your list, and all you can think of is your stomach. She's not here right now. <laughs> to die, aren't I? No, you're not gonna die. But I talked to a chaplain. He's gone. Got to talk to a chaplain. Here. I'm here. Don't want to be alone. Well, hang on. We'll get you to hospital pretty quick. Will you say a prayer? Of course. What's your denomination? Church of England. St. John's Old Milton. Dear Lord, there's a new day is breaking. Watch over your children. Help them to understand. Watch over your faithful servant. Patrick.
just can't get over how you filled out. Score! Frederick, <laughs> dear boy, our prayers are answered. He brought you back safely. We prayed as a family every night. Father insisted. That's nice. They might need help with lunch. Yeah. So, I stuffed his intestines back in and tried to stitch him up, which wasn't easy because the bitchin' things kept popping back out. Anyway, we got him fixed up and we... <laughs> I stitched him up using a double crochet. <laughs> Uh, got him mixed up, sent him back behind the lines. Where, where was I? Oh, yes, no. I was on my way to relieve this wounded M.O., the medical officer, at this forward dressing station when this Kraut machine gunned the latrines while the poor sod was still out. Well, you never heard such blue language. Uh, sorry, uh, anyone else? No? Oh, all right. Now, so there we were, splashing about, up to our asses in mud, shells landing everywhere, difficult to know where in hell the Germans were firing from. And all of a sudden, there is this almighty Chrysler explosion, and there I am, I'm sailing through the air, and I wake up in a field hospital, and somebody is stitching me. And for that, they gave me the goddamn military cross, if you can believe it. Fred. either. Put decapitated bodies in the stretchers. We live in a cocoon. Coming back home, it's like stepping back in time. You've no idea? No idea at all? No, this has been quite a day. Gone to their beds, none of it. Bread needed. Mother, I think I'll cut back on milkers this winter. Fifteen. No, sixteen. That heifers need a fashion. Every day bull jumped the fence and got it. A hair for the woods. It's late. You must be tired. Mm -hmm. It will take time to adjust. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he will receive the crown of life. I now proudly call upon Captain Frederick Banting to read the first lesson. What did he say? You might see read the lesson. Me? Fred. Be ye, therefore, followers of God as 
dear children and walk in love as Christ loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. <laughs> savor. I would do anything rather than stand up and speak. It was terrible. You were wonderful. I was? I think we need to set a wedding date. Wedding date? Wedding date? Hell. Sorry. I'm not even discharged from the army yet. We can plan. Or are you having second thoughts? Oh, no, no, no. It's just that when I get out of the army, I won't have a job which is fine, because I'll have to do some more residency at the hospital for sick children. You're already a doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm out of touch. I'm rusty. You have to remember what happened to my class. In the last two years of medical school, pushed into a few months, and then we're shipped off to France. I mean, a lot of us. We now have to get up to date. Well, we could get married and live on my income until... Teachers make good salaries. No. Absolutely not. Just not done. No self-respecting man, I mean, could, could dream of marrying before he could fully support his wife. I mean, my father, my grand... I mean, for God's sake, your father. Sorry. Now, who's living in a cocoon? The fact of the matter is, we only have so many places to fill. Turning down excellent men is a loathsome task. I have no choice. Your abilities are not in question, you understand. You're a fine, competent surgeon, respected by colleagues, well liked by your patients. I'm sorry. Then why? It's everyone's ambition, it seems, house surgeons, med students, interns, to secure a staff position at Sick Children's. Only the most exceptional can be considered. Oh, I thought it was my future. There are other hospitals. Well, the Toronto General isn't what I have in mind. I don't know about there, either. Medicine doesn't begin and end standing over an operating table in this province. It may not be as glamorous, but there's nothing wrong with being a general practitioner. There are towns all over the province needing good doctors. Sometimes, expectations have to be lowered. Hmm. So, what do you think? It's a wonderful milestone. It's a very important day. So, this is it. Banting's descent into purgatory. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Time will heal. As will Dr. Banting. Now, this is where the citizenry of London will wait to see the great Dr. Banting. And this is the inner sanctum St. Torum, where I will perform miracles. Desk over there, examining table there, and the bookcase over there. Now, I will live in the room across the hallway, and I'll pray to God I'll make enough money to pay the goddamn mortgage, loan from my father, and the cost of the bloody car. If you weren't so proud. What the hell does that have to do with it? If we were married. Damn it, don't listen! I had a goal, a dream, 
that's been destroyed. It's been shattered. All right. Now I have got to get used to it. Hmm? I've got to get used to this. All right. I need time. Just give me time. I've given you nothing but. I don't think there'll ever be a right time for you. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, be right with you. I beg your pardon? Uh, I'll be right with you. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm here to see Dr. Banton, but thanks anyway. Well, that's me. Uh, appendectomy is a snap. Come here, I'm trying to clean the carburetor. That must be a slow day. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, just took advantage of a break uh, between patients. She almost broke down on some house calls last night. Oh. Well, I was hoping you might not be so busy. I'm Dr. Miller. Physiology Department, Western University. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Greece. No, I, uh, I was told you were practicing in London, and I'm looking for a part-time surgery and anatomy demonstrator. One lecture a week would help me enormously. Oh, lecture? Um, hmm, you mean st stand up and... And lecture? Yes. Um, well, uh, I... As the vein enters the substance of the parotid gland, it becomes the retromandibular vein, the other branch of which joins with the posterior jugular vein. As the vein enters the substance of the parotid gland, it becomes... Hope you have a good session. So do I. Mm. Um, look, I'm wondering if you can do me another big favor. I'm in a bit of a jam. 
And I need a lecture on carbohydrate metabolism. Oh, God, no, no, no. I don't know a thing about it. It wouldn't take much. They're first year students. They get them started on diabetes and the pancreas. What's this? Juvenile diabetes mellitus. Chances of recovery? None. Never seen one. When is the lecture? Monday, 9 o'clock. Oh, no, that's two days. Right, right. No, hell no, I couldn't uh, learn to spell it. Elizabeth. The only thing missing is a brass band. Who is he? The King of England? Just looks like him. I voted for him when he ran for president in 16. Didn't do him any good, though. Fatigue. Increased appetite. Excessive urination and thirst. Weight loss. Elizabeth. I'm Dr. Allen. This is Nurse Scott. And how are we today? Very well, thank you. Why don't we get on the scales and see how much a 13-year-old young lady weighs? Scott will be back to keep you company in a few minutes. I'm afraid Elizabeth does have diabetes mellitus. I think she should be admitted to the Institute immediately, today, and placed on a 24-hour fast. That's ridiculous. The child is losing weight. She is 73 pounds and will lose more on a strict diet of 400 to 600 calories a day. The foods she has been eating have been too rich, too nourishing. I have to find Elizabeth's tolerance level, the right number of daily calories and weight that will stabilize her blood sugar levels. So I will reduce her food intake. This is quackery. You do not deny food sustenance to a young and growing child who is already losing weight. I mean, in Europe, surely there are specialists. I'll take her to London or Paris. Mr. Secretary, my treatment is the only one worth anything, the only way to contain the disease. The entire medical world, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes, including London and Paris, has been stymied by research that goes up one blind alley after another. I am the top specialist. Which is why you came here in the first place. Melanie, a new roommate for you. This is Elizabeth Hughes from Washington, D.C. Elizabeth, I'd like you to meet Melanie Hayden from Southampton, New York. What I have to offer is an extension, extra time. There is no known cure. No way Elizabeth can survive. She might have 18 months, two years if she's lucky. I wish I could offer a miracle, but I can't. You're wrong. Common sense says you have to be wrong. The pancreas, which is located just behind the stomach, is about six inches long. God damn it, I should never have agreed to this. Fred. What? Oh, sorry. 
Sorry, sorry, I blaspheme. Sorry. We'll do it again. Right, here goes. The pancreas, which is to be found just... Too flat. Flat? Hmm. Your voice has input people to sleep. Hmm. The pancreas. The pancreas is a bit like a bunch of grapes. So, imagine the bunch with hollow stems, and each grape is lined with cells that pour out digestive juices known as the external secretion. That's not bad, eh? But more important is the 1% of the pancreas, which is known as the islets of Langer Han, which it is believed secrete some kind of substance directly into the blood which affects carbohydrate metabolism. And if I get that far, I will have earned my money. If there is a inadequate production of this substance, the internal secretion, the body fails to burn the starches and the sugars. They remain in the blood. The blood sugar increases until it passes through the kidneys into the pee-pee. You didn't have to say that. What? You know. They were embarrassed. Dear God. I don't shock so easily. Not anymore. You can't shock me the way you used to, Fred Banting. You'd be surprised what an education teaching school is. Dealing with children from all walks. I think I understand what the war going to Europe did for you. Our life must have opened up. Cloister door unlocked. My world's changing, too. Now, there's a girl in my class, Mildred. I heard her say a certain word. Well, I reprimanded her, of course. Out of frustration, fear, vulnerability, she screamed the word at me. Piss. 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 I wanted to go to her and comfort her, apologize for humiliating her in front of the others. She had no other way of striking back. At that moment, I realized that the standards and values I'd been taught to believe in were fine for the Mance and Alliston. But in Mildred's world, that word's a normal part of the language. I've learned a lot about many things. But it's not easy adjusting and struggling out of the cocoon. Well, where were we? Interesting to contrast the results of pancreas. Excision of the pancreas and those by the, and the simple ligation of the ducks, Baring and Minkowski. It's eighteen eighty nine resulted in a severe and fatal diabetes. Obstruction of the main pancreatic duct leads to an advanced atrophy of the pancreas. The islets may remain intact. Hmm. What is this? The relation of the islets of Langerhans to diabetes. Special references to the cases of pancreatic lithiasis. Well, wasn't I? Born on the sunny side of the hedge.
isolate the internal secretion of things to relieve glycosuria. Now, I have these two sets of dogs. Now, with the first set, I tie off the pancreatic ducts. I completely ligate them. Now, when these ducts are ligated, all tied off, the pancreas here will atrophy, just wither up like a bunch of little old raisins, leaving only the islets of liger hands intact. Now, remember, they think that these islets hold the secretion, this hormone that controls the blood sugar. Okay. Now, with these other dogs, I'd remove the pancreas completely. Just cut it out, and these dogs would become diabetic. That's been done before. Lots of times. Now, finally, I go back into these first dogs. I take out this withered pancreas, uh, make an extract from this pancreas, and pop that into the diabetic dog. Now, if the diabetic dog's blood sugar goes down, I've got something, an active principle. Well, I'm not sure. Well, let's put it this way. I think that it's worth... Well, I don't know. I, I was going to say that you should talk to J.J.R. McLeod at U of T. He's a new professor of physiology. I mean, he's the carbohydrate man in Canada, and he's one of the best in the world. But I hesitate, because your idea is so damn simple. Not to have been done before. Mm -hmm. No, but what's to lose? I mean, all he can do is eat you alive. Hmm. Dr. Banting, I say this not to discourage you, but to make you aware that since the first century AD, when Aratius referred to the melting down of the flesh and limbs in urine, there's been a search for the cure for diabetes mellitus. Without any success, I might add. To be frank, based on my own research and the study of anything written on the subject, which is considerable, as I'm sure you're aware, I have a feeling that the internal secretion will never be captured in a pancreatic extract. So what makes you think, Dr. Banting, with all due respect, you understand, that a general practitioner with little or no research training in the conventional to, sense can Stark. succeed where eminent scientists working in the best equipped laboratories in the world, some who've spent their entire lives trying to unravel the mysteries of the pancreas. Now, what makes you think you can succeed? where they failed. Well, perhaps. See, what I'm, uh, what I'm suggesting is, well, I have to admit I'm not, not too well read on the subject. But, um, well, I took an apple for Isaac Newton. Mm. It could be that the eminent scientists did not use the approach that I'm suggesting. Dr. Banting. I mean, it could be, couldn't it? I mean, have you, Professor McLeod, in your research, ligated a dog's pancreas, closed the dog up for the atrophying process to occur, gone back in, removed the atrophied pancreas, made an extract from it, and injected it into a diabetic dog? And after the appropriate time, tested the sugar in the blood of the diabetic dog to see if it was still uh, abnormally high. No, and I must confess, to my knowledge, no one has ever done it before, Dr. Banting. Maybe in the spring, if I still want to, he said he'd give me lab space, ten dogs, an assistant, and things for, uh, well, you know, blood testing, urine, you know, stuff like that. He said it was a unique theory, his very words. How about that, eh? It's wonderful. So it'll probably take most of the summer. What about your practice here? Ah, close it. I mean, on a temporary basis. Hell, no one's gonna miss me. 
But I got to be honest. He did say it would mean a great it would mean a great sacrifice, Dr. Banting, with a high risk of getting negative results, which in itself would be of great physiological value. Sounds like a pick and a poke. Yes, ma'am. But this is J. J. McLeod, the carbohydrate man in Canada. And what will this carbohydrate man pay you for doing this research? Well, uh, nothing. See, he's giving me the opportunity. McLeod replied to my letter. And? Oh, the offer's still on. Says I could start in May. I see. E.D. I've got to have something more to do than dispensing powder, curing bunions, and examining people who smell. I have to be where it counts. That means not here, but Drontum. Which means we have to do it your way. When are you going to say it? Say what? Our marriage date will have to be... Oh, for God's sake, try to understand. Damn it. No. Damn it. You try and understand. What about my wanting something better? <sighs> I'm just talking a few months. Isn't it always only a few months? <sighs> you know, I used to imagine being at a function. The doctor's wife. People would nod and say to themselves, doesn't Dr. Banning's wife look contented? Now they'll say if they're not already. Isn't that Edith Roach, old maid? Isn't that the expected fate of a minister's daughter? Have you noticed we never discuss my future? Our future. Jesus, look at my future is our future. You know, diabetics, diabetic children, when they're first diagnosed, it's like someone pulls out the bung on their life. It just runs out of them till there's nothing left. And that's it. There's no replugging it. That's it. The final trumpet. It's their last walk. This idea that I have, it's our idea. It's our future. All you want to do is prove a point. All right. So what's wrong with that? I don't like to fail. All right, there. I'm happy. I've said it. At marriage, either. Dear God, Edith. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Sure. We've become a habit. Close, but nowhere near close enough. Recently, I almost came to see you. I decided I didn't want to wait for marriage. A honeymoon. Well, I know what you're thinking. Why not? I'm almost 30 years old. I've never seen a man's body. Not, not even exactly sure what happens. Well, I have a good idea. From books and other women at university. I wanted us to explore each other. I wanted to feel you inside me. Making our love complete.
didn't I? Well, I didn't want you to feel that I was trapping you into marriage, that I was afraid of losing you. Was that close? just as well the way things worked out. You see, I... I can't live with the uncertainty any longer. Never knowing, feel like a... puppet jerked around on a string. And, and yes, wondering how I am... perceived, how we are perceived in Alston. I've got a lot to offer. got a life to live. The entire thing will probably evaporate into a cloud of smoke. But you can only but profit from the experience. Who knows, you might even learn something. So there's no confusion. I suggest you toss a coin to see who starts. Tails. Tails it is. He's yours. Gentlemen. Dr. Banting, your help for the summer. Charles Best and Clark Noble, two of my best students. Fourth year honors physiology and biochem and heading for Master of Arts next year. They're both good blood men, so you'll learn from each other. The work will be split between the two of them. I do believe you won the toss, Mr. Best. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, can you do a little bit of uh, spit and polish and uh, liberal dose of elbow grease, but uh, I'm sure you're equal to the task. Professor McLeod tells me you're a GP. Did he tell you I specialize in old ladies' hemorrhoidal arses? So, uh, where did you do your postgraduate research? Vimy Ridge. Arrah, Leger, Passion Girl. Now, I'd venture to suggest you ask some more intelligent questions. Like, what do we do when we have some healthy islets of Langerhan on one hand and a depancreatized dog about to go into a coma on the other? Stroke from a point centered between the eleventh ribs to down just past the umbilicus. Good. Scissors. That's good. Clamp it back. Let me 
See? Look at that spleen. Where? There. For God's sake, Banting, I have to give you an anatomy lesson. That's the stomach. Now, tucked in there is the adrenal gland, kidney, and the reason we're gathered here together today, the pancreas. Oh, Christ, is so small. You'll have to cut it away from ether, laddie, ether. You want the wee latcher walking off the table? You'll have to cut it away from the mesentery tissue after first tying off the blood vessels. Monitor the heart, monitor the heart. We'll lose enough dogs as it is. Mind you, I hope not too many. Without adding to the risk with sloppy anesthesia. See, gentlemen, the reason I suggested a two-stage pancreatectomy is because it makes the surgery less stressful for the dog and for the surgeon. I see her. She's with Elizabeth. You're late. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, sweetheart. You're looking so much better. I'm sorry, Travis. Well, well, young lady, aren't we looking splendid this week? Yeah. I brought you something from your grandma. It was all we could do to keep her from coming. July. Clark Noble can substitute. Well, we may not be in business by then. 385 died last night. I did an autopsy. One of the tied off vessels and ruptured. It's not easy. Bitching things are hard to get at. I'm on fingers and thumbs with these dogs. That's number three. Three? Oh, God. I hadn't realized. I mean, consciously. We mutts are going to put their lives in mind. I got to do better by them. Still, Lieutenant, uh, haven't lost the war yet. Say what? Did you get your test results? Yes, I can go home until the fall. What you weigh? Fifty-eight. He says I could be up to 60, 61 by next visit if I stay on the twelve hundred calories and stick to the diet. Hmm. Green meat, eggs, <laughs> lettuce, and milk. <laughs> and boil the vegetables. Three, Three times, times a day to eliminate carbohydrates and no bread, sweets, desserts, desserts and cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have a nurse? I think so. Someone Dr. Allen recommended. She'll even be coming to the lake for the summer, like a nursemaid. We were supposed to go to Newport for the same, but out of the blue, my mother says we're going to Europe. Girls, a little more pace. We have to burn up those calories. So, we got engaged. Margaret, that's her name. Stunningly beautiful. Smart, sophisticated. Look, Charlie, I think we should just concentrate on what we're doing. We'll save the story of your lady friends for later.
was only 17. Safe in the arms of Jesus. creepy and you're morbid. Dr. Allen said maybe this year, certainly next. I overheard my parents talking about it. Everyone who has diabetes, especially at my stage, dies. He said so. Nothing can save me. Who's this one? Without accurate, impeccable blood sugar readings that can be questioned by no man, you have nothing. That and faultless record keeping and note taking. Some peri, some reproach. Miss Grange has my address in Scotland, should you need to contact me. She also has my notes on extract preparation, which you should read when you get to that stage. Ah. On the crossing, I'll pray that your pancreas is atrophy to your liking. For that, and for a good sized salmon to land on the line. Have a good time, gentlemen. So there was no protection. I mean, you went out there, shells, bullets, flying, and uh, did what you could. And the odds were all cock out. I mean, one chap bought it three minutes after he arrived. I mean, me. <laughs> Christ, three, seven days a week. Christ. Oh, Christ. Fred, I'm losing it. Get the goddamn straps on. Okay, okay, there's no need to shout for Christ's sake.
never killed anything before. Miss Burgess, as you can see from her references, has a great deal of experience in situations such as this. She will be responsible for all Elizabeth's meals. Everything will be measured in grams, every morsel. You will need to obtain a set of apothecary scales to avoid any errors. A 100 gram slice of chicken means exactly that. A total meal of 285 calories must be adhered to. Elizabeth must take regular walks, but no overexertion. A summer at the lake will be the best thing for her. I sent some books in the big crawler ahead and some new Caruso recordings to Fuela Kira and Kate Jelly de Manina. Father sent me fishing rod, but with this heat, the bass will be deep and hard to rouse. Do you play parcheesi, Miss Burgess? No, but you can teach me. And call me Blanche. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer. Father well, and I will come just as soon as he can get away. What with this dispute between Costa Rica and Panama, as well as all the things going on to get the conference ready, I hardly see him. His days are so long. Remember, we love you. Back to Washington. Three weeks, and we've already lost 25% of our dogs. Well, that just wouldn't look very good on a CV, would it? Huh? And whereas negative results go, that is negative. Still, we're getting better. But if we can't control the flies, Control a goddamn infection. Still, there's got to be a solution. Somewhere. But, numero uno, we've got to get our dog inventory looking good before McLeod gets back. And I have an idea. Excuse me. Fred, allow me to present my fiance, Miss Margaret Martin. This is Dr. Banting, my boss. Pleased to meet you. I have to excuse. Charles has told me a great deal about you. Well, um, if I could find my damn glasses, my cigarettes, and you'd be able to see how truly beautiful she is. Well, I just get my coat. This man, he is indeed the master of understanding. Beat it. We'll talk about the other tomorrow. No, in fact, I'll look after it myself. I still make it. Got uh, pustular dermatitis to me. Two dollars. Cheers. I need regular supply for a while. Nothing smaller than this. They're all bitches. Uh, Mr. Roach, it's only Eatons or Simpsons. You'll have to take what comes. Daxons all great names. It's not easy getting hold of them. Don't want to know. You'll have to take what comes. Uh, no deal. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll try to keep him inside. Hey, 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 hey! Lease extra. Water. Same time tomorrow. No Danes, no Daxons, no Leash, and a bitch. 
Got a fancy ribbon in his hair. No charge. Knowing that I was going to see you tonight was the only thing that kept me going. I thought he was going to sack me. He seems too nice a man to do a thing like that. Oh, uh, well. He does have rather a sad face, though. He's lonely, and he's obsessed with his idea. It's the only thing that keeps him going. I think it has something to do with that school teacher who's going to marry. The business you mentioned about her engagement ring on his watch chain seemed a little eccentric, don't you think? Maybe you should find him a new girl. No, ma'am. I like him. We get along kind of okay. My commitment to him is to work until Clark Noble takes over. That's it. Anyway, let him look after his own love life. Can't see me now. Or McLeod. Shh. Don't even mention the word. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll be broke before St. Swithin's Day. Who needs to wait till then? I'm gonna have to sell my car, for God's sake. Or whatever it's worth. No. Yeah. No. <coughs> However, we are improving. I mean, six ligated mutts. One successfully, the pancreatized dog. Oh, it ain't bad, oh. Mr. Best. We are on our way. Damn it. Oh. Oh. So, oh. time for one final lesson before lesson? you go out to play soldiers. Tonight, Ooh. it's almost midnight. Charlie boy, you have to learn. Without accurate, impeccable blood sugar readings, you, you have, have nothing. Nothing. Right. Oh. Oh. Don't one refresh your oh. course. Shh. Good night. I have two cc's of blood diluted with eight cc's of water. I've added 0.2 grams of picric, no, dry, dry picric acid. I've centrifuged it, filtered the supernatant liquid, and served it over meat and potatoes when cooled. All right, seriously, seriously. I have divided the filtrate into two test tubes for duplicate determinations. Uh, what's that? A diabetic sample I got from Biochem. Give me a reading. Oh. All right. Now, adjust it until you think the color in the right-hand chamber matches that of the graduated color chart in the eyepiece. Hmm, yeah. Point three zero. Christ, that's high. Severe diabetes. Point four zero is coma time. Point five zero, make arrangements for the undertaker. Nirvana Fred is point one zero. One five is pretty good, too. What you're looking for in there there's an eyeball full of pale, pale yellow. Now, can I go and play soldiers? Good night. Good night. Yuck! It's not very good. I can't decide whether to paint like Monet Cezanne or Van Gogh. You know, Blanche, when I looked up artists in the encyclopedia, composers, too, they're all men. Oh, why do you suppose that is? <laughs> well, because women were, still are to some extent, expected to be wives and mothers, to feed and nurture the impoverished artists, which is precisely what I'm going to do for you. I think that's very good. It's different. <laughs> it's dinner time. I'll call you.
almost made it. You were very wise to turn back. The distance from where I turned back to shore it was more than equal to. So I really did make it. Militia train. I know that. Tonight is what I mean. You said you'd be here at six. It is now ten past eleven. Delays. You know how the army is. I guess you don't remember. 398. A dog. You know, the experiment. Of course, I mean, the number doesn't ring a bell. It's the only deep pancreatized dog that we had. So? Well, naturally, it became diabetic. Blood sugar elevated. She showed all the symptoms, excessive drinking, pissing all over the place, you know, the works. But can I get an accurate blood sugar? No, sir. Point one bloody five. Yeah. Maybe you didn't read the color there. From Maybe my ass biochem tested it and came up with point three five. Right. Approaching coma time. Didn't you say? Oh yeah. Banting's been looking a horse's ass around here, Charlie boy, because of your sloppy work habits. Dirty tubes, pipettes, stale, contaminated solutions that have all combined to foul up my readings. Well, let me tell you that things are going to change. If McLeod's golden-haired boy wants to stay on board, he's going to get his ass to work this minute, cleaning every piece of equipment until it sparkles. You will dump all your solutions and make fresh. I've never seen such filthy, slipshod, unprofessional work habits in my life. Get the mind off diddling, boy, and concentrate. You foul mouth, son of a bitch! Watch it. Let me know what you decide.
か ?Tea。Tea。Money? Just wondering who got in earlier than me. Perhaps you didn't leave. How to place you? Banting. Fred Banting, sir. Class of 17. You're Professor Henderson, pharmacology. This is Charles. Charles Best, of course. One of McLeod's boys, the pancreatic business. I thought Clark Noble was supposed to be taking over from you, Best. I was uh, hoping Dr. Banting would allow me to stay for the duration of the experiment. Absolutely. Can't switch horses at this stage. And you can't go without sleep. Fog brains do not great experiments make. Gentlemen. You prefer English breakfast, right? Yes. Thank you. It's my pleasure. So, you studied under Vellian Henderson, too. Yeah. Furman Henderson, he used to call him. <laughs> well, he's quite the Machiavelli around here. Right, is All the department heads court him, even though a lot of them don't like him. McLeod, for example. Mother country versus the colonials, right? The thing is, Henderson has access to all the right ears. So it's good to have him on your side. I mean, that's the gossip. I don't know. Remember his piece de resistance joke? Uh, yeah, yeah. He used to fill a French safe with water <laughs> to test for elasticity. <laughs> Did it my time, too. The biggest laugh was when the first dumb Odic asked, what is it? Oh, shit. That pancreas is normal. There's no degeneration whatsoever. God damn. Banting! I struck out. I've been tying off the ducks probably. One I can understand. Two at the outside. What's five out of seven? Trenches are crazy. If only you could get a decent drink. Bloody prohibition. I mean, what sort of damned uncivilized country is this? You can't get a proper drink. They give you lousy cat gut to work with. The cat gut has got something to do with it. And that's not an excuse. It's just too stiff with a ligature to hold breath. And surgery <laughs> is supposed to be my specialty. I mean, if you want to quit, there'll be no hard feelings. You are one flim flam artist. You know that? You have no intention of quitting. Any more than I do. And you know we'll be back in here tomorrow, going through the dogs, tying them off with silk instead of cat gut. And in six weeks, they'll be ready for the big day. Injecting an extract into a diabetic dog. To work today. That doesn't spell failure to me. Oh, not the world out here. If only I knew what day it was. <laughs> Margaret, can we give you a ride, Fred? Uh, no, thanks. Exercise will do me good. Sorry to have Shanghai him for so long. You sure? I'll see you tomorrow.
getting bigger. What do you mean? I'll tell you while we drive. Saturday, July 30th, 1921. I'm now slicing atrophied pancreatic tissue. Dog number 391. Using a chilled laboratory mortar, I place the sliced atrophied tissue in a mixture of salts in water. Now I immerse the mortar and contents in freezing brine. Noted. Take the partially frozen contents and grind with sand using a laboratory pestle. Filter using cheesecloth. And filter again through blotting paper. Finally, we warm our filtered solution to body temperature. Elevated. Point two O. Rubicon. Find out. If I go back to London, the once and future GP or something. We'll give her another five cc's. We shall go to lunch for an hour and see if we brought her down any further. <laughs> I don't believe it. I would have put good money on you running down Young Street right now telling the entire world it works. What more do you want? Impeccable readings that can be questioned by no man, including McLeod. And when I first met him, he mentioned something about a fellow named um, 
Arateus. Greek, I suppose. And the search for the elixir, the internal secretion. Maybe, maybe we saw it today, huh? Cloud, Henderson, and Noble says, I couldn't believe it. Where will we find three wise men? It wasn't the injection. No, I know that. So, it had to be an infection. It had to be. Welcome home, Elizabeth. Seems like old times. Any new sightings for your list? No, I wasn't much interested. Oh. Perhaps you're growing out of these things. Elizabeth did some very good paintings. Yes, I think that when I graduate from college, I'm going to go live in Paris and become a bohemian. <laughs> Will you come live with me, Blanche? Oh, well... I... You realize, Miss Burgess, you must consider this your home. Consider yourself part of the family. Mr. Hughes has a wonderful library, and of course, Washington itself has so many things of interest to offer. The Lincoln Memorial is virtually finished. We're to have the dedication next May. And that should be quite an event. I saw the president's plans the other day. They're splendid. And 150 runs. And New York will win the fan. your dress. That was the most appreciated turkey I ever saw. The coffee will be getting cold. Upstairs is elevating slightly ahead of Alpha here. She's a 0.38. Alpha's a 0.35. I'm diabetic. Mm. Good coma curve. What's your temperature? 97.5. 
cooler than it is in here. Uh-huh. Coma time. What do you mean, it's only 94? gonna feel a thing. Except maybe a whole lot better. And that's a promise. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Best? Certainly is, Mr. Banting. Five past. We'll take samples from both in an hour. Point two six. Hell, that's um, it's almost a twenty four percent reduction. Well, I guess it's uh, stiff in the sinews. Constellation? No, the extract for the extract. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Now, wait a minute, Charlie. This stuff, it's, uh, you know, it is pretty crude. I mean, this is only the beginning. We could never use this on a human being. We have to get this stuff so pure that it would not blemish a baby's bottom. But in the meantime...